Hi, I'm Mark, and this is my journey through tarot. Come on. So Donald Trump, is he innocent or is he guilty? Let's see how this uh, trial is going to pan out. And that's all the video will be about. So I hope you like the video. If you like the video, please do like the video. And if you haven't subscribed, please subscribe. And thank you very much for watching. So yeah, we're going to get into Donald Trump, the trial. Let's see how he's going to fare. Is Marshawn, has he had enough? And um, how will this play out? We have the jurors uh, decided how long will it take the jurors to come in so will it be a quick decision will it be a long decision and uh, will he be uh, will he be guilty 34 counts I think it is so let's see how that plays out so yeah how long before the jury decides and uh, will he be guilty and what about the 34 counts but before we do any of that let's have just a moment of meditation So we'll see how this goes. Donald Trump. Um, I just want to do three cards like I often do just to get into the flavor of what's going to happen. And then we'll see, uh, it's going to take a long time for the jury to make a decision. And is he going to be innocent or guilty? And is he going to be innocent or guilty of the majority of the stuff? Or you know, just a couple of things. How's that sound? So, um, Three cards. Where are we on this Donald Trump situation? What kind of a roller coaster are we going to have to ride for the rest of this? First card is the Eight of Swords feeling trapped. That's perfect. I mean, Swords of Truth, Justice, Rules, and Law, and this main figure just feels trapped. Of course, we all know that the hidden meaning behind this card is that you're not actually trapped. You can't open your eyes, wiggle out of the binds, and find your way out of this. So. The first card up is feeling trapped. The second card for this Trump situation, Knight of Swords, Swords, Truth, Justice, Rules, Law, continue to fight. He will continue to fight. And then the final one is the Eight of Cups having to walk away from something of emotional value. Yeah, he's going to lose, and he knows he's going to lose. So let's see uh, we can get more detail on this. Um, is it going to take the jury a long time? Let's do six cards to see about those uh, jury deliberations. Because they've been going on for 19, 20 days, I think, with the trial so far. And uh, so six cards on the jury. The length of time. One, two, three, four, five, and six. Signifier card for the jury uh, and the length of that deliberation. Okay. Ah, so the hermit is a thoughtful, careful, before he puts a foot forward, the hermit is really being careful about what he's going to do, about the decision he's going to make. Excellent signifier card when we're talking about the jury. Love to hear that. The uh, challenge to that, though, is Trump fighting back. We just showed Trump in the previous three draws as the Knight of Swords, and so the problem with their careful, deliberate consideration is this spectacle that Trump makes of this. So, you know, it's hard to say you know, when the person is showing you that they're so guilty, it's hard to make a rational decision that, yes, you're guilty. It's not just this horrible thing that you're showing me. So the challenge to their thoughtful deliberation is Trump himself. The basis of this whole thing is the Ten of Cups, his happy family, which could also be interpreted as, you know, a happy uh, decision for all of us. In the past of this is the Two of Cups, so the time for, uh, you know, making friends, okay, finding common ground is in the past as far as the relationship of the jury and Trump and the, and the prosecution for that fact. But all of those, those uh, chances for a marriage are done. Uh, we're going to see what happens. And in the sky of this, again, I love when the cards repeat, this shows that the best that we can hope for is that Trump is going to lose in some fashion, have to walk away from something of emotional value. And then the final card is the two of coins finding a true balance. 
So it looks to me like, because um, I want to know how long is it going to take them to, is it going to be long term or short term? And they're only telling us about the thoughtful deliberation. So let's do the last four cards to see if we can narrow it down um, as to how long. How long will it take? First card, the very self of that question, is six of wands, victory. Six, six what, six days, six weeks, six something. The environment that that six is in is uh, the wheel of fortune well of course because it is just a it's still a deliberation so it's not it's not set in stone that these people all agree on how guilty or how innocent or how completely innocent or how completely guilty he is there's a deliberation going on there the hopes and the fears for that is that the temperance gets it right how long is it going to be the ace of swords i think it's going to be a week Truth, justice, rules, law, one, it can't be a day, it's going to be a week. So we'll see how that comes. So um, I say that it's going to take them about a week to make a decision. Somebody keep track of that because I won't. And then um, now we're going to see uh, of the counts, how guilty is he going to be? Let's do some quick draws. I'm now liking to call them quick draws to say... I want to ask direct question. Is it going to be short term or long term? Two cards. One, two, not short term or long term. I've, I've screwed that up. I can't use these cards. I've got to do this again. I'm still thinking about how long uh, for the jurors to come in. I want to know on the uh, counts that he uh, is found guilty of, will there be a lot of them or a few of them? Will it be all of them? You know, tell us about the counts that he's going to be guilty of. Let's do six cards. And three wanted to come out right away. And I'm taking them just like they came out. Three, four, five, six. Okay. 34 counts. So we have the Empress. So this is showing compassion. This is the number three in the Major Arcana. Let's see what that means. Uh, the challenge to that is the King of Swords, Truth, Justice, Rules, and Law. That's the law. The balance of this is the Eight of Swords. Okay, this is feeling feeling trapped, but you can get out of some of it. In the past is this Knight of Coins, fighting for your value. In the sky is this Four of Wands, a small victory, and the Seven of Cups is illusion and delusion. I think the small victory is that there will be four counts that he won't be found guilty of. Uh, so that leaves 30 counts that he'll be found guilty of. And uh, illusion and delusion somehow is the uh, best we can hope for in the end of this thing. And what does that mean? We're still gonna be feeling as if we don't know exactly if this was the right decision. I think I'll leave it there. Hey, I'm going to show you the cards now. Hang on a minute. So this is one of my favorite decks, Golden Tarot by Cat Black, who's an Australian uh, artist. And this is uh, all digital here. Um, I love this box. I mean, look how special it is. And, and it's easy to get the stuff out and use it. I mean, it's like a little uh, presentation. There's no fumbling at all. So, except when I use it. Now, the booklet is pretty good, too. It's, Cat Black has written this, it seems like, and so there's a good explanation in the front as to her concept for the artwork, which is amazing. It's usually, it's about from the 12 to the 1500s, which she uses in here, which is like cut and paste digital artwork. And then in the back, it talks about her, and uh, she's a webmaster, an author, an artist, and she also, she actually lives in uh, Western Australia uh, with her cat, Ellie, by the way. So, and I love uh, my uh, tarot reader, Ellie uh, Dreams Down Under. So she'd be tickled to know this, I think. Uh, so anyway, let's look at the cards. Um, my other favorite uh, uh, reader, uh, Violetta, uses these cards exclusively. They're the only cards she'll use. So there you go. They're beautiful, though. And they're not hard to handle. They're a little slicky. And when they're new, they're very gilded on the edge. And then as you use them, of course, that starts wearing off, which is sad. But um, 
but they're beautiful. They're easy to read. They're Rider Waite uh, iconography, and you can figure out what the card means without any uh, problem whatsoever. And I actually read that Cat Black, the artist, uh, got her first tarot cards when she was 15. So you know, she's someone who designed it uh, with uh, you know practical knowledge uh, at hand, not just commissioned to do the art. I think. So anyway, I love these. I hope this is interesting for some of you uh, to look at the different cards when I do this. And uh, it's a good way to mix them up. And uh, so there we go. We'll get this uh, game going here.